What is up guys, DZ here. Today I have a very exciting video. So I'm not sure how many people know this, but in Master Duel, there is a title that you can earn by winning with Exodia's effect 10 times. Now I have won with Exodia as a deck way more than 10 times, but a lot of people actually scoop once your combo gets going. So this requires your opponent to actually sit through the entire combo. I was a few wins away today on my live stream, so I decided to stream my last duels with Exodia and I think after this I am going to take a bit of a break from playing Exodia, but I thought it'd be fun to show you guys all of the games that I played today, just so that you guys can kind of see what happens with Exodia when you play it on the ranked ladder. Now I always mention this, or at least I try to mention this in my videos, but you really shouldn't go out there and craft Exodia. The deck certainly does have its like highs where you can win really easily, but also it's obviously not very good going second and it loses to hand traps when you go first, but it is pretty funny to win with if you manage to pull the combo off. Here is the deck list that I used, by the way. I think that this is the most consistent way to play Exodia in Master Duel. This is basically a slightly modified version of that stolen Exodia deck from a few weeks ago, but I think the changes do make a pretty big difference. So we have, of course, one copy of each of the Exodia pieces, three copies of Royal Magical Library, one copy of the Pendulum Upstart Goblin card, three copies of Upstart Goblin, one Terraforming, one card of Demise. Yes, I do think this card is very good in this deck. I know not everyone agrees on it, but I really do think it's playable. Uh, three copies of Magical Stone Excavation. So I did bump this up to three copies since my last Exodia deck profile. I really do think this card is incredibly powerful in this deck, so I wanted to play the third copy. Uh, one copy of Dark Factory, of course. Three copies of Magical Mallet. One copy of Double Summon. Three Golden Bamboo Sword. Three Into the Void. One Duality. One Foolish Braille Goods. One Gold Moon Coin. This card is primarily in there to give your opponent your extra cards that you don't need. You usually at least one copy of the map, which we are playing two copies of now instead of three copies, and then like one random card, perhaps like the third copy of library, you could give them that. One copy of Broken Bamboo Sword, three copies of Cursed Bamboo Sword, and finally three copies of Chicken Game. You can't play the Pseudo Space Nest deck because map puts you to 4,000 life points, but overall I think that this is a very good Exodia deck. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend that you go out and craft any Exodia deck because it's not really like a real deck that's going to win a bunch of games, but I think in terms of like which Exodia deck is like the most consistent. This one, at least in my own experience, has been the best performing Exodia deck that I've played in this game so far. Anyway, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay in today's video. So at this point, we have three more wins with Exodia to get the sealed one title. It is kind of funny because, yeah, a lot of people just scoop when you start resolving libraries effect, which is kind of annoying. So like, I have more than seven wins with these types of decks, but people just like scoop so fast sometimes they don't want to sit there and watch it. Uh, this hand's pretty bad, though. See, that's what I'm saying! Like, <laughs> no, people would be surprised, but if you are staring down a Royal Magical Library and you don't have a hand trap, most of the time they're gonna win, so people just scoop immediately. Going first again, maybe they won't scoop this time. Um, okay, they have max C. Farfoot's done his pulls already? I'm so confused if that's true. Because that means he's going to like literally be waiting there for like 30 minutes for me to build my deck. Man. <laughs> One card off. Yep. You want a more time for deck building? Wait, why did you already do the pulls? I'll start doing the pulls. Oh, fuck. Damn. Okay. Good sign. I mean, anytime you go first is gonna be good with this deck, <laughs> let's be real. Show me the library. Oh, oh wow, this hand's crazy. Please don't have Valor or Ash or Imperm or... No, mainly just those three. Oh no, <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's fine. Okay, if that's his only hand trap, we're probably fine. Here we go, please don't scoop, I want to get the Exodia. I mean, you can scoop, I also want the win, but... You just do whatever you feel is necessary. Oh my gosh. See, this Exodia deck is just so much better than the others, because once you get the library on the field, you just can't lose, pretty much. Because the deck is like all spell cards, you don't have the bricky, um... Like, monster cards with trade-in and stuff. We Demise first, I'm gonna Demise right here. Although, okay, I missed out on one Drox Hydrating Zodia piece, but you know what happens. 
<laughs> I was trying to be greedy. Oh gosh, okay. So let's go for chicken game to maybe mallet one more card. Okay. I mean, if we draw into the double summon, like, I'll go for that. Chicken game again. Okay. Draw. Double summon. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Which always feels really weird, yeah, with an Exodia deck, like, drawing the pieces of cards you obviously want to draw and saying, oh, that's not very good. <laughs> um, we're gonna mallet the entire hand though. It seems like he has no hand traps. I think that putting the second library on the board just makes it faster to win. It doesn't actually like help you win that much. I mean it does, but usually it's just kind of win more. Oh wait, does he have a response? That's weird. So let's activate this. Is the map worth not being able to run pseudo space? I think it is after playing this deck a few times now, but I think that you can make arguments for both, if that makes sense. Um, what are we doing? Or sending uh, this to grave. Like, library in this deck, I feel like if you open it, and I'll count opening map as opening library, if you can open library and they don't have a hand trap, you just win like every time almost. So for that reason, yeah, I think it's better to just play the map. And honestly, the uh, pseudo spaces have bricked me in the past in a couple different duels, so. I'm not like that sad to see him go. They shouldn't brick because it's like, oh, they're just draw one cards, but you do have to have a chicken game engrave. Is this still the deck that you copied? It's a few cards different. I changed it to what I feel is like the most optimal way to play the deck. So I changed out like three or four cards because I felt like it was like really close to being perfect, but not quite there. So this is what I think is like the most consistent Exodia deck in the game. But it is a couple cards different from that other list, yeah. Go for checking game, draw a card. I guess you just play the double summon and then go for duality. Should be fine. Gold moon coin would be really good. Because we have an extra map. That's pretty good too. Um, yeah, we'll go for the duality. Maybe I should have done that later, but... Huh, doesn't matter. Golden bamboo sword. What does he have that he hasn't used? Maybe it's like some random card like Gizmak Orochi or Thunder Dragon Dark or any number of cards like that that like can be used. Yeah, it could be Numeron with Numeron Wallets, right? DD Crow? Oh god! Wait. If it is, I'm dead. No! Oh, okay. I don't think it's DD Crow. But if it is DD Crow, we lost, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think it's DD Crow. I think that card is very, very unpopular in this game. Might be Maxi. He already used a Maxi. So, can't be second Maxi. Looks like it wasn't DD Crow, though. I think it's like Gizmak or Thunder Dragon Dark or a card like that. Maybe White Princess. Because he wasn't really doing anything, like, for the first half of the turn. There we go. Easy peasy. This deck is like so crazy, I don't know. I'm not trying to like clickbait people and tell people to like build this Exodia deck, but I really do think after playing a lot of different Exodia decks that this is like the best way to play it. If you want to play Exodia, not that you should play Exodia, but if you wanted to, this is probably the best way to do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've won every coin toss, this has been incredible. What do you give the opponent with a gold moon coin? You give them the extra map and then just like a random card, like just whatever you don't need. It could be Mallet, could be anything, really. I did cut a map, yeah. Uh, okay, put everything back, try to draw a library. Wow. No hand trap, maybe? No hand trap, holy crap. See, this deck is, like, I don't want to click at people into, like, building this deck because, like, it's still Exodia, it's still gonna lead to one hand trap, but, like, it is, like, kind of crazy. No, don't scoop. I need to get the... <laughs> We're never gonna get the sealed one title. <laughs> See, people just, like, don't want to watch it, which is totally fair, by the way, like... Oh, we lost a coin toss. We did it. We are stoppable. Exodia to Plat 1 challenge? I kind of wanted to try that, honestly. 
I'm like so bored with the current format of Master Duel because like it's the same decks that we've been playing against not only for a month and a half in this game but also like for like literal years in the TCG. It would just take like winning enough die rolls in a row basically because you only have to have like a 60% win rate to get the plat one. Oh yeah, we lose. Well, I guess we can see if he has Tiger. Oh wait, what? It's actual Lunalites? What does this deck do when going first? Yeah, I wish the titles would show in game two. It really should like show your opponent. I would just like them to show the titles at least. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay, what are we making? Baguska. Baguska pass. Okay. Not Imperm, because he can use it against this. It might just be like the Serenade Dance that he like hard drew. Don't have Ash, please. Oh, I thought Baguska only stopped special summon effects for some reason. I don't know why I thought that. I thought it was like lose one turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell? Honestly, not the worst tech. Wait, Xyz Encore? Is this just a Xyz event deck? No, because that card was banned in there. Well, I'm just going to pass. I don't think he can OTK us with this current setup. Well, if he drew Tiger, he could. But I'm just going to try to outlast the Baguska. <laughs> Another Curse Seal problem. Yeah, dude, I got all day. Okay, well, that sucks, but... Like, he doesn't want to switch it to attack because he's probably thinking, like, oh, if I switch it to attack, then he can start doing stuff. Yep. Okay. Well, let's see what you got. Does he even know what deck I'm playing? I mean, he can probably tell, right? It might look like, no, because Monarchs wouldn't play Card of Demise, but they would play this card. And True Draco wouldn't play this card, probably. It might look like True Draco. Damn it. That's game. Oh well. Maybe he won't know what to do, because he did make a pretty weird play, turn one, I feel like. And this card's kind of weird, and this card's kind of weird, so maybe he won't uh, know how to OTK us. Maybe we're not dead. 18, 18. Oh god, what else does it have? Oh, you have to activate that effect. I think we're alive, right? It's 18, 2000, 18, 2000. Okay, different order than I thought, but still. We're alive. Right? Come on, Royal Magical Library. Okay, well. Let's draw some cards. We do have a lot of draws right here. Mallet. Okay. I'm gonna mallet. Our hand isn't bad, but there's like three cards that aren't doing anything right now. I'll probably keep the Upstart Goblin, although we do really want to draw in a library, so maybe I'll put it back. Yeah, we really need to see library right here. Damn it. Um, okay, so we'll go with this guy. Sure. Library, where are you? Okay. Uh, Upstart Goblin? Uh-oh. Library? Library? <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, I can't chicken game. Yeah, I'm probably dead then. Yeah. I forgot that I couldn't chicken game. That's gonna be game then. But maybe not. Can this be targeted? Yeah, I could technically still win here. It's just very unlikely. But it is possible. If we draw a library with this, maybe. <laughs> Damn it. Isn't gold moon coin for these two like the same as magical stone for... I don't know. <laughs> okay. Technically, yeah, if we library into spell, into spell, into spell. <laughs> No! No! <laughs> I summon! 
Exodia, the Forbidden One! Dang. Oh, I could have shown him in the end phase, right? Discard the entire hand. I should have done that. But it's funny attacking with Exodium. Wait, will this be the last um, win we need? No Veiler or Imperm, by the way. Ash Matter is way less than Veiler and Imperm. Yeah, Ash is fine. Like, probably could have saved that for a card that wasn't Upstar Goblin, but this still gets a counter, by the way, which is pretty funny. Um, into the Void. Uh, we'll upstart, see what we draw. Maybe we'll have to Mallet here. Well, eventually. Oh, okay. Like, we'll just Mallet, that's fine. This already has one counter on it, so we just need to draw one playable spell off the top. Maybe we keep the sword? No, we'll just go for the draw one spells. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, there we go. Get library, cool. Just need one more playable spell. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, no, come on, draw a playable spell right here. I wanted to Magical Stone, discarding the other stone, plus the sword to add back Upstart. Yeah, Punish from Malady Bamboo Sword. No, you had to make that play. There's so many like draw one spells. Um, Did we Into the Void this turn? Yeah, so we lose. Dang. I feel like I could have played that a little bit better. This will be the game where we win, I promise. And then we'll have the Sealed One title forever. This hand is really bad. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, chicken game, I need your help here, okay? Okay. Yep. Now we can even stone for the other chicken game, so now we're kind of fine. Oh, that's even better. But theoretically, if we didn't draw a spell there, we could have stoned the two pieces for the chicken game to get the third activation on their library. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Draw one. Oh, and the double summon. Sure, we'll throw that out there. Um, now I get this. Draw two right here. Nice. Draw one. That's a really good draw on this spot because our hand is just about to get bad. Okay, I know I didn't do it last time, and that like screwed me up. But I really think like he mailed away the entire hand again. Fine, we lost last game, so I didn't keep it. Well, that's actually still pretty good. <laughs> this card is pretty strong, yeah. Draw a card. Okay. Add this back. We don't really want to activate it because we'd rather gold and moon coin it. Oh, we might have to, though. Um, okay, well... We'll have a little bit less searching power for the golden. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a pretty good drop. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. We don't have a chicken game left, dang. Missed out on a search. Okay, yep. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, we're actually kind of stuck right here. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, we're not stuck. Magical Mallet, best card in the game. Um, yeah, we're just gonna put the whole hand back. I love this deck so much. It just, it's all gas. It's all gas. Okay, we're getting a little out of hand here. Okay, so this one, the right one is one counter ahead. I gotta remember that. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Not like this. Not like this! Wait, how many cards is in deck? 12? Oh, never mind. We're never punished. See you later, pieces. Well, yeah, I guess there's no advantage to discarding the terraforming over the pieces. Because we always need to get to the dark factory anyway.
Oh, garden mice. A little bit late for that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was another case, by the way, where if I didn't draw a mallet, I just lost. <laughs> um, okay, so we have eight cards left in deck. I'm just trying to think here. Do we actually put back the Exodi pieces this time? I know normally we do, but this time I feel like we don't. Because there's a lot of bricks in deck right now. There's still two stones, though. Stones like game if we draw it. Yeah, stones like game. So. Oh, wait. Maybe I did get punished. I don't know. No, no, because we have two libraries. So, magical stone. Get rid of card of demise because we can't use it. Get rid of terraforming because we can't use it. Add back this. So now this one has one, that one is two. We can Foolish Braille goods. We don't have any like good targets to send here, but we can just get rid of like a dead card. Like the uh, map. So the deck right now is like all Exodia pieces and live cards. See so yeah, how we have game. We did it! Well, probably. I just missed a draw! No, I just missed a draw, that might matter. It doesn't matter. The deck's too powerful. <laughs> the deck's unbeatable. There was no circumstance where missing the library there mattered, because we could have drawn two with the sword with the stone. Farfa is raiding with 1,700 viewers right as I unlock the sealed one title for Exodia in 10 times. Wow, what a perfect time for the raid. Exodia! Obliterate! <laughs> and now... Because I've been so dedicated to the Exodia strategy, I have unlocked the legendary title. Wait. I miscounted. Okay, anyway, we need one more Exodia win. No, we're going second. What a disaster. What is this hand? Oh no. So this combo takes a very long time, so I'm going to speed it up in the replay here. Um, you know, it's kind of hypocritical for me to complain about a long combo because I'm obviously playing Exodia, but for your guys' sake, I have sped this up. I did want to take a moment here to thank you guys for the support on the Master Saga series. Episode 1 and now Episode 2 both have 100k views, which is just incredibly exciting. Uh, it really is like one of the most fun series I've ever done on my channel. I think Farfa and I have a really good time each week filming it and I really have appreciated all of the positive kind words that you guys have said in the comment section of those videos. If you guys have not checked out Master Saga yet, it is basically like a sealed only format in Master Duel with Farfa and I each week and it premieres every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Just yesterday we uploaded episode 5 which has the first ban list that we've ever done in the Master Saga so it's a really cool episode and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys have not checked out the series though yet, this really is the best time to do so because you have five great episodes right in a row that you can watch and then you can add on a big ban list episode until episode six premieres next week. Anyway, let's go back to the gameplay. I'm gonna cut the duel down so much, but like we have actually been here for like almost 10 minutes, I feel like, just watching this combo. I like how we're watching this, even though like our hand is like so trash that we almost certainly can't win. All that for one back row. I have yet to play against this deck in Master Duel, but now I see why everyone complained. Like I don't like playing against this deck in real life. Damn it. <laughs> We're still gonna lose after all that. Why did I watch that? If this is the trap, we have to draw like Exodia piece, Exodia piece. Yep. Why not? Oh. Okay, wait a second. Best possible draw on the deck. I love this card so much. Magical Mallet is a card that I first put like one copy. I, I can't remember like how many I played in that original Exodia list that I posted, but it wasn't very many. But like as I've played these Exodia decks more and more, I just realized like it's so good for fixing your hand. I want to save the Terraforming for the library activation, but we already have two chicken games in place. So I probably should go for this one. So we'll chicken game here. <laughs> it's so funny to me that people can play how many negates there are, and then when a comic doesn't set up any negates, they say how much they hate it. Well, it's like, because it's for different reasons, right? 
this hating a deck because it's boring and hating a deck because it sets up an unbreaking board. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well. But yeah. Damn if you do, damn if you don't, you know. We're in a pretty bad spot right here. Mallet? Library would be good. The problem with getting Mallet from Grave is that like we go so minus to do it that we can't Mallet for that many cards anymore. Yeah, no, we probably lost this one. Unless, library? Unless, library? Oh, we're losing so much card advantage. Like, theoretically though, <laughs> I know it seems like we're in a dire situation here, but if we do draw a library, <laughs> I think we can still win if they don't have the trap card. Damn it. Yeah, that's a loss. So library was in the bottom 20 cards of the deck? That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Is one day of peace bad? The one day of peace thing is that you can give them a hand trap, which I really don't want to give them. Like you win by getting lucky and your opponent not drawing a hand trap. Oh, we lost the die roll and he made us go first. So that means he probably has a lot of hand traps. <laughs> Or maybe it's just like going second Numeron that doesn't play hand trap. I mean, they all play hand traps. Map? This sounds really nuts if he doesn't have a hand trap. But we all know how that goes. Yeah, Ash game. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, well. <gasps> Numeron wall? Oh, please tell me it's a Numeron wall, not an Ash. Not Valor or Imperm. I think he just turned his uh, toggle off. I don't think he has anything. Nope, it didn't turn toggle off. I don't know. Yeah, it could be Maxi. See, like, I never know. Like, it could be Dragon Dark. It could be Gizmac. It could be Maxi. Maxi is usually what it is. That's not really good in this situation. Um, <laughs> okay, well, kind of comes down to this draw right here. That's really good. We just needed any playable spell. He might have like Imperm. Although he would have to have Imperm plus another card because the first card that he had that he could use, I didn't have a monster on the board yet. That was the wrong play. Like not saying it's not gonna work, but that's the wrong play. That's the wrong thing to Ash. <laughs> now I can just use it again but it might still work. Okay, do I do the gold moon coin or do I stone for upstart goblin? I think I'm gonna stone for upstart goblin. Like it's not like people have experience against Exodia, so it's not like it really matters, but. I wish I could add this back and trigger the graveyard effect. That'd be pretty crazy. Unless there's some weird OSG rule and that allows you to do that, but in the TSG it wouldn't work. So if we don't go for Broken Bamboo Sword here, we're like betting on drawing a spell card with the Upstart Goblin. And if we don't draw a spell card, we lose. I don't know. I'm like too nervous to not do this. Guess we'll find out if we're punished. Dang. Yeah, the Golden's dead without the Broken, but the Golden's just such like a high impact card because if you draw a Cursed or a Bamboo Sword, it just gets really crazy. Well, they're all Bamboo Swords, but you know what I mean. Coming down last draw here. <laughs> this has been like our roughest hand, I feel like. Come on, Chicken Game. Yes, perfect. Oh, nice. I cannot miss a Library Activation. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Love Magical Mallet, because we don't have the Gold Moon Coin anymore to get rid of the map. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Have we used Double Summon? Nope. Okay. Mallet the entire hand. So we're going to draw four off Mallet, one off the Library. <laughs> never punished. No, I'm just an expert Exodia player. It's not about never getting punished. It's about being an exp... Yeah, I'm the luckiest motherfucker ever. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I take back everything I said. No, that was just the, you know, Exodia wants me to win this, so. <laughs> this Broken Bamboo Sword was like the decision point that changed this entire game around, by the way. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I miss a... I missed a 
Yeah. That won't matter. I don't need the extra draw. We don't need that. Wait, I thought there was a golden left in deck. Oh, I didn't see that one. Well, that's fine. Okay, into the void. Oh, duality for double summon? Yeah, I probably should have done that. I just tried... Well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. I don't know, I like holding duality for like the last second when I'm like really bricked, but then it's like... Yeah, the double summon is like so good. We have like only 10 cards left in deck, so I probably should have done that earlier. We should play chain summoning. I don't think we can actually use that, but it'd be funny. Okay. Uh, let's go this. We have not discarded any Exodia pieces, so we can get rid of this one. Get rid of the library. Library is worse than all of those cards because it's not a spell. Yeah, if this guy scoops at the end, I'm gonna cry. But. <laughs> no, it is what it is. <laughs> Seven cards left in deck. Like, all the Exodia pieces are left in deck still. Um, let's stone. We can discard the Exodia piece, right? Because we only have one engrave. Missed library again. Did I really? Sorry, we're just like so far ahead that I just like assume we're gonna win. I'm not even paying attention. It confuses me when they're like desynced. <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> like there's only four cards left in deck and we have enough gas in our hand to draw all of those cards. I'm not too concerned, but technically, yeah. Imagine getting punished. There's no way to get punished at this point, though. Does one of these have two counters? Yeah, they both have two counters. I was just trying to get them synced up. Which they're still not, but it is what it is. All right. <laughs> Take two. Now we have the sealed one <laughs> title. We did it. And this time I know for sure. Awesome. Now I can proudly display that I am an Exodia Duelist. Look how happy Sangin is. There it is. Unlimited missions. Sealed one. I put that right on there.